we've got skins on top. They get dried out. The wine falls down to the bottom. The skins rise to the top and all the flavors in the skins. So we got to put it back together over and over again. And you're just deciding like kneading bread, how much you need to put it back together. Just did a mixing. So I'm going to get the skins out of the way and get a sample right out of this one and a half tons of fruit. The number doesn't tell me about flavor, but everything else does, right? The color, the texture, the smells. So we have nine, about 9% 9 sugar remaining out of the original 25 or 24%. It's the tasting of the wine that really is, is the driver. There's a lot of ways we measure wine. But in the end, it's a beverage we want to enjoy and there's simply no better lab than tasting the wine yourself. There are flavors here in the tank at Harvest that they go away. They just change, right? It's half fruit, it's fruit turning to wine, it's half fruit, half wine, and you'll never get some of these flavors again. Um, I actually think that this is what the Greeks meant by nectar of the gods. It is so delicious. It's the greatest drink in the world, and it lasts two weeks, and then it's gone until next year, and then it's back, uh, which is what brings me back every year.